And referee Mr Pearson gets the game underway. Plymouth are attacking the goal away to our left. Early touch of the ball for Mick Heathcote, just nodding it forward and straight into touch. Carter just lays it to cross. We're coming in, an early touch of the ball and a good grab of the second attempt from Kevin Blackwell. Stance just neatly knocks it off, gets it back again into the area and the shot comes in just over the bar. Mark Patterson has raced away to take the throw on that far side. There's Mickey Heathcote with him and just lays it back to Heathcote. Heathcote will chip forward, cleared away, but only as far as Mojé. Mojé eventually does find Patterson, steals in and tries the cross. Cannons off the legs of Ian Hughes for another throw to Argyle. Chris Billy looking for a man to make a move and Ronnie Mojé hooks it across. Evans in the area and scores! Against the run of play, Plymouth Argyle snatched the first goal. Hodgson pumps the ball to the edge of the very area, headed away as far as Mark Carter. Good interception. Chris Billy feeds it through to Clayton, who tries a speculative shot that finds the corner of the net. And that's as good a goal as you'll see anywhere in the Football League. Chris Billy fed it forward, looking for Clayton to make the run, he did, he tried his luck from the edge of the area, and a magnificent goal that left the very keeper Lee Bracey absolutely no chance at all. Stuart Bimson will take the kick, very pushing men forward, Bimson swings it in over the head of Stanton, headed away by Hodgson. And good work from Paul Williams, just nips in ahead of Ryan Cross. Ryan Cross is stuck with him, but Williams will try and keep going, maybe keep the ball in play, and does. Swings across into the far post, looking for Little John, knocks it back to Billy in the area. Can he turn and shoot? He does and scores! Deep cross, Raider and Little John. Little John knocked it back, and Billy, after the ball, just got stuck under his feet, so regained his composure and slammed it past Lee Bracey. Argyle lead by three goals to nil. Flicked on from Evans. Little John is all down by Ian Hughes and I fear we could have a booking here. If the referee interprets the law, then Ian Hughes has got to go and he does. Adrian Littlejohn had turned in Hughes, was bearing down on goal, he was clean through, Hughes was the last man in defence, he dragged Adrian Littlejohn down, and referee Mr Pearson really left no option whatsoever to send the very defender off. Goal kick aimed for Evans. Helped on its way by Williams. Little John chests it down, shouts of handball from the crowd. The referee waving play on. And little John is just marshalled off the ball. Hodgson to Williams. A neat touch and a neat turn from Williams. Moje back to Ledbetter. Evans has stayed on side. He might try a shot from long range, does so. And that's the fourth. Lee Bracey was stranded in no man's land in his area. Mickey Evans saw this, tried his luck from 30 yards. A great shot and a great way to round off what has been a superb Argyle performance this afternoon. Billy on this near side to Patterson. Patterson forward for Little John, who stayed on side despite the appeals from the Berry defenders. Turns inside, tries the shot, and that's number five. 
Little John time and time again this afternoon and straight offside, but this time as the ball was lofted through to him, he managed to beat the offside trap, checked inside and drilled a low left foot shot into the far right corner. Lee Bracey had no chance and Plymouth are on a high. Very to their credit, still pressing forward, Rigby. Twisting and turning as Williams and Hodgson in close attendance but gets the cross in, aimed at Stans who gets a knock from Mickey Heathcote. A good challenge from Patterson to Billy. Billy inside, Patterson couldn't get it. And the referee's whistle signals the end of proceedings. It's been coming. I think the chairman's as happy as me as well because we've seen it develop over the last few weeks but we've not had any luck and, and uh, conceded silly goals. And, you know, you begin to have doubts, the players, and yet uh, it's within our dressing room, the answer. And today we proved that, um, you know, we can be a good side. Uh, we've been on top of games and dominating games and then we've conceded silly goals and we've really shot ourselves in the foot, sort of thing. Um, but, you know, I've been around long enough to know what morale's like. We've got a decent side, good, good dressing room spirit and uh, with the supporters like we've got today again, I mean, it, you've got every chance at a club like Plymouth. After six defeats in August, it must have been a great relief to get a win there and, and to win so well as well. It was, yes. I mean, everybody expected us um, probably to get beat after we lost the first six games and Bury were very difficult at home. Um, but I made a couple of changes and, and give Mickey Evans a free reign and uh, he repaid me very well. He, he, he played very... He held the line together up front, scored the vital first goal and he took all the pressure off everyone. And you could see the relief and the tension and, you know, we could have got ten really in the end. 